All right, here is the pulley. Idler pulley. Looks like there's one bolt right here. Goes all the way through. And you just pull that out. I'm sure it's not gonna be easy. Right now it's a good time to do this, this pulley, because I have the AC and the alternator out of the way. And I can get in there no problem. So the idler pulley is right here. Like I said, this car has 175,000 miles on it. A lot of this is I'm doing while I'm here. It, it, I think one of these one of these pulleys is making noise. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna replace it. I mean, it should be fairly easy. So I'm gonna get a whatever size uh, socket that is and yank that thing off. Probably gonna have to use a uh, half inch drive on this sucker. But let me go figure it out. All right, I got the pulley off. Um, I thought it was just, <clears throat> I thought it was just this one bolt here. There's another one down here, a uh, a 12 millimeter. So you gotta pull that guy off too. I just wanna compare the new and the old one. Yeah, it's still... That's interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very similar. Um, the other weird thing. So the bolt. This has this big washer, this big uh, washer on it. This one just got a little tiny one. Uh, the, the bolt is stuck on with this little little plastic piece. I guess so. It stays on there. Um, I'm gonna have to take that out, obviously. <clears throat> That's the little one that was there. But this one was a little tricky to get to because you can't see it from the top, and you just gotta feel around and, and grab it. But fairly simple. Take this off. There's like a uh, 14, I think, and then a 12 comes off. It wasn't even that tight. All right, I'm gonna go put it back on, and <clears throat> we'll be done with the pulley. Well, I was going to use this washer. On the new pulley, and then I just noticed this pulley is deeper than this one, so I can't use it. But I did put the old bolt on there, and I put the little washer thing. Look at that. This, this is for my hands. How dirty it is. So let's go uh, put it in. Okay, let's go put this thing down there. It goes like this. I want to push this. Down a little bit now. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, putting it down in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get. It's gotta come way up. This big bolt just in started. All right, I just got it started. Okay, I have the little bolt. So I got this on a little bit, it moves around. I'm gonna try to get the bottom one on. It was pretty much like straight up and down. Okay. And tighten the big one. Tighten both my hands just to make sure. I get that one a little bit more. All right. And the bottom one. You don't want to tighten it too much because it's going into aluminum. All right. That's probably some torque spec. That's probably what I just put on there. All right. So that tensioner is on there. <clears throat> and then
Okay. A lot stronger than the other one. I'm trying to grab it. Down here. There we go. All right. Yep. So the bolt wasn't tight enough. So the bolt was moving. Now it's now it's tensioning. Holy cow. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and they spin. Spins. So you can see these spin with no noise. And this one here, let's take this off. Oh, that whole thing's not. Yeah, that just sits there. Anyway, yeah, this thing was. I mean, it's making a little bit of noise. Oh, it rolls really nice. This one. I guess if, if the uh, bolt was holding it on. It, it, it's, I mean, the bearings are bad. I think the bearings are, are, are going on this thing. Anyway, it's not, it wasn't something I needed to do right now. It was, um, while I'm in there and everything's apart. Carefully, I forgot there was there's a little washer um, on the other side against the block, and I forgot to put that. I forgot I put that in there, and when I started it up the first time, the belt skipped over like it was coming off the the pulley. So I had to pull the tensioner off and redo it. Anyway, it's working good. You can see it's working well now. The, the, the belt is staying on there. Thanks for watching. That's how you do the idler on 2014 Honda Odyssey. I mean, I did cheat a little bit because I have the AC and the alternator are not there, so there's a little bit more room. But if you're doing any, doing this job, doing doing an AC compressor, I might as well just change this thing. All that stuff's out of the way. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you in the next video.